when you did. Well, that's not how there the, are way too many of me. Yeah, that's not how the studio mode's supposed to work. Oh, great. There are way too many of them. Let me see if I turn them off and turn them back on and see what happens. VC. Yeah, you have to set the source to match window name exactly. And then it won't do that. Hello, stream. Welcome to my stream here on Drake Takes. <laughs> what the hell now? The cameras Caesar, are all screwed up. Caesar, wake up. up. Caesar's sleeping there in his chair. Oh. He's been casting the clone spell. No, I'm, I'm texting my daughter back. I have to say, the stream looks a lot better today, Drake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we're sh we're short a couple of uh, players today, so uh, Valtrex is going to be running uh, everybody. Running everybody. I don't know what happened. The cameras were fine. I pushed one button and screwed it all up. Um. Let's see. This button. No, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Howard Stern never has to mess with stuff like this, does he? That's why producers. We need producers. Oh. There they are. All right. No DM tonight, though, but change it back. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. Those are the backup cameras. I got, like, regular and backup and then a backup of the backup. So, But these are all kind of screwy. So I'm going to play with these a little bit. Well, welcome for welcome to Call from the Deep, Session 40. It's October 6, 2020. And uh, while I'm monkeying with the cameras, why don't we do some player introductions? And we're going to start off uh, from left to right with uh, with Marbania. Tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, Squall uh, grew up as a young tot uh, on the sea, just working merchant ships and stuff. He found himself in a, uh, well, he's, a, he's an Air Genasi for one thing, so he's kind of been an outcast, a uh, rather rare item. Uh, took to religion in his teens, and uh, he he discovered Tempest, and now he's driven by battle and war, and particularly battle on the sea, and he relishes in it. And Yeah, that's him. That's him? That's it? What about uh, a little bit about uh, Matakuri? Tell us about your character. All right. For Call of the Deep, I am playing Krell, an Aarakocra sniper who likes to shoot oh, first. This isn't Call of the Deep. Later. No, this isn't Call of the Deep. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just trying to get you second guessing <laughs> yourself. <laughs> All right. It's not that uh, hard. And Ar he, uh, he started off. Uh, his career as a pirate hunter, and now he's kind of converted into a squid hunter. Squid head hunter. A squiddy? And, uh, what about, uh, Scuzzer, or Caesar? Tell us, Scuzzer, tell Caesar what Scuzzer's doing. <laughs> Caesar playing Scuzzer. Um, he's kind of glad Krell's no longer hunting pirates because he's been a pirate his whole life, pillaging and looting. And recently he um, has taken to other things because he's finding the pirate life not so pleasing to him anymore. And he wants to make amends for some of the things he's done over the years. Um, and he's a water genasi, um, ranger, pirate. Water Genasi and that is Scuzzer. Pirate. And uh, Valtrex, tell us a little bit about Nystagmus. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm playing Nystagmus. He is a Triton Storm Sorcerer. Uh, when uh, he, he started out uh, 
coming to the surface and uh, kind of hooked up with uh, some smugglers, actually. Uh, and that's where he got his start. And then um, there was actually a mutiny on that uh, that ship, his original ship. And when he got back to port, he joined up uh, with this crew uh, because uh, Storm Sorcerer, it's always good to have on a, on a ship. Uh, so he's been uh, slumming it with these guys for a while now. And uh, last but not least, we have Sven. What's up with your guy? All righty. Well, Sven is playing an Ember. Ember is a Fire Genasi. And he and his whole clan of Fire Genasi live off on an island to the west of one of those coastal towns, Never Winter, I believe. And uh, they're all magic users and various wizards but uh, you can only learn so much from friends and family and so he ventured forth i'm an illusionist by trade I screw with people's minds i let uh, nystagmus do all the blowing people up while meanwhile i'm uh, messing with their heads and uh he's just gathering information learning as much as he can uh, and collecting as many spells as he can possibly can in his rock spell book <laughs> well so the characters have made their way uh to the islands of trisk the purple rocks which is way up uh on the north uh west end of forgotten realms and uh they made it to the island of trisk and they're on the north end of this island they went down into a uh a cave and a cavern underneath and uh and they've traversed about a mile underneath what they're assuming is the sea and uh and there's a whole complex down here that's called Ascarl. that's what we're calling it anyways and uh they've been wandering around down here for i guess it's going on uh 24 hours now since you guys took a long rest in this room, did you not? I think you did. Locked yourself in and got a long rest. Is that true? Is everybody long rested? Yeah, we got our ass whooped by that little to uh, tiki, tiki. Yeah, there was a thing. little, uh, there was a little, uh, a little idol on top of an altar that just really kind of <laughs> kicked their ass. This little idol. Did you guys see the? Yeah, I showed you the idol. This idol. It was like just, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, this yeah, thing just bastard. really kicked their ass. I mean, they fought like dozens and dozens of creatures at a time, and this thing, this one little thing, uh, kicked their ass. Uh, but uh, they're all rested. Uh, they're a little stiff from laying on this hard cavern floor, uh, but I think they're ready to do some more exploring. That's right, and we missed Scuzzer last week. Actually, the DM missed Scuzzer. Huh? Scuzzer was a mist for a long time. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's right. I need to hop bar this. Well, that's why I've got two third level spell slots going. You said we had a long rest. I'm like, I got two third. But that's because I had to memorize uh, Remove Curse for two. You. Fuckers. Oh yeah. You will listen to what Tempest wants you to do from now on. <laughs> so you guys had discussed going up to the northern end and exploring this this stanky pond. Stanky pond. Uh are the tokens locked? That place is nasty. They are now that I locked them. I don't like the way the lock works. Add some freaking color. Green means no. Red means yes. Well, let's not have the. Oh, there we are. Big old freaking map. Yeah. Uh, everybody's looking at it. So. So yeah, there. You guys are all down here. This is a big pit. A pit. Oh yeah, something was down there. Yeah, we don't want to go down there. Nothing yeah, down. now that now that you can say he, you don't want to go down there, he's like, no, we don't want to go down there. 
Yeah, now that I can talk again. Uh, yeah, you guys can move all the way up to the water line if you want without any incidents. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I, f I, say I can't fix my damn stream elements. Those links are not right. Links for what? Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Doesn't exist. I've been on that page like three times, stream elements, to try to fix it. I don't, I don't understand. I even thought I turned them off. <clears throat> don't go buy those. Um, all right, so a deep pool of still stagnant water fills this chamber. It reeks of rotting shellfish and is cloudy with a fibrous sediment. Every few seconds... A drop falls from the ceiling, sending ripples across the surface of the pool. And uh, and you can see under the uh, under the murky water, there's like a little lower section down here. And there's right. a lobster loose. <laughs> I want to fly kind of over the area and just stay up high near the roof of the cavern and see if I can see anything in the water. It's pretty murky. I, uh, Nystagmus learned his lesson, uh, the, in the last, you know, area we went to. He is not going to set foot in this water until somebody else does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it doesn't look very deep to me. Go step in it. I mean, there. it's got. See, it's got stone sticking up out of it, so, I mean, it can't be that deep, right? I don't know, you put your foot in there to see? You got a 10-foot pole? No, but what I will do... I will... Hmm... And you can make out... Control when you fire water. around, crawl the little steps to go up over there. Yeah, and control waters are... This is not the... The ones on here don't have descriptions, but I think it's like a hundred foot wide. It's a big old chunk of water. Oh, he just blew over? Okay, well I won't control water. I'll just fly over here with Krell. I'm trying to go check it out. Alright, I'll fly over there too. I'm going to take... Are there oh. any loose... Rocks? Are these caverns or is this carved? Uh, caverns. Well, wait, what's the difference between caverns and carved? Uh, your expert caverns opinion, your, your expert opinion, these are carved caverns. Okay. So are there loose rocks floating around then? Uh, no, rocks don't float. Now I'll throw a couple of copper into the water. There's some rocks laying around, but there's no floating rocks. So they go bloop. They make a like a splash, like the water dripping from the ceiling does. Did you make a wish when you did that? But when the water, like when the when the pebble or the coin splashes, you see the you see the ripple form, and climbing out of the water onto the island over here, you see this hairy little creature and he doesn't have any pants on and uh oops shit oh Hold that's coming <laughs> that's coming what did i do I, got a I, oh, I, I moved him he's over here now and uh and suddenly you guys hear some hoots and uh, as he uh, bends over and he poops in his hand, and this time it's like this blue f like flies instantly come on it, instantly poo. It's a little swirl on the top, like soft serve ice cream. And uh, 
and he starts looking around and he takes aim. Yep, he's taking aim. Who is he gonna hit today? I love that music. If I could roll the die. What the hell? Huh, what do, you, what do you know? I didn't know it did that. When you got too much shit open, it won't roll on top of it. What do you know? Uh, so, um, somehow, he gets out a little mini trebuchet. On the, he's up on this little island over here. <laughs> and, he, and he gets out a little trebuchet, and he flings it, and, uh, and it goes flying and hits Krell right in the beak. Oh. And Krell, you notice uh, that this thing uh, has a particular odor to it. It's not peanut butter either. You're like, do you think it might be apple taffy? Apple taffy. And that's Clyde, the poo slinging monkey. Yep. Brought to you by. Who, who bought it? Bastard snake. I mean bass snake. <laughs> Bass. You gotta love. And Gorgia is gonna be mad he can't redeem Clyde, but you snooze, you lose, right? That's right. Be here for the launch. All right, we got him out of the way. <laughs> this is freaking Manicuri's running Empire of the Ghouls, and he didn't even get like the first word out. And <laughs> freaking here's Clyde. <laughs> like the stream hadn't even started yet, hardly. And here's Clyde. One thing I will not miss from Classic for sure is the arranged dice button. Why do I want my dice scattered on the table? Why in the world would I want that? Messy s people. S s s the Swedes. It's simulating a real table where your dice can be all over the place and you have to hunt for them. Right. Not right. Wrong. Um, all right, yeah, I so want the uh, range dice with the highest number showing. That's how I play. I always put the highest number showing. I, I think that's it's how it is way. on Unity by default. Somebody listened when they made Unity. Uh, so. Let's do one of these. I count four. Who didn't roll? Freaking Krell. Only a plus twelve. Only a plus twelve. Well, um, the combat tracker update. Say again. I don't. Uh, you don't see the rolls in the uh, combat tracker, or we don't. I don't. What do you mean? That was perception check. So your he has him hidden. Oh, wake for some reason I thought it was a mission. Go back to sleep. We'll wake you up when it's time to do something. <laughs> it helps when you read the button. I didn't read the button. He just pushed it. He, I'm just pushing it. I'm just pushing it. Just click. But uh, you do guys Ooh, have button. Button. one of these. That one's the one. <laughs> That's the one you were looking for.
Oops. And I hate to say it, but are we really though? We were watching this thing. I just threw money into it, expecting you did. something to happen. You did. You were totally expecting with your. What did you get on your perception? Your four. And Nystagmus is seven. And Krell got a uh, 28. Actually, Squall made it. I'm sorry, I put that on you. You're not surprised. Doesn't somebody have a weapon of warning so they can't be surprised? Uh, I've got these eyes. Yeah, I've got yeah, these I've eyes got, all over. He has a hand robe. crossbow, but he has to have it out and, and equipped. No, you don't. Robe. I got the hand crossbow of warning, yeah. Uh... All right. Oh, so so those guns are an, an Ember so the, aren't surprised. Then. So the only one that is surprised is is Ember. Oh, 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 oh no. The, the 30 feet yeah, you guys aren't surprised. Sorry. I didn't see him. I thought he was over there. I'm uh, surprised. <laughs> yeah. A figures, right? What well, you poor poor guy. So we're surprised that on Scuzzer. Let me take that on. Jesus, Scuzzer. Let's get some more shit on your damn effects. Ha. Huh. And Ember is not surprised either, right? Yeah, where the hell's Ember in the combat tracker here? All the way at the bottom. So Nystagmus is surprised as these big looking lobster things come up out of the water. And try to pinch, pinch, pinch on you guys. Uh, so Nostagamus doesn't get to do anything. However, Scuzzer does. Okay, okay. This notice no, Uch, Uchulon or whatever the hell you call it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a couple shots at him. It's a, it's a chull that's been tadpoled. If you want to know what it is. I'll put the hunter's mark on him. I don't have any art, but a chull is like a big lobster looking thing. And the W uh, is just representing the water. Let me hide that. Hey. Uh, scrolled up too far. And the second one was a hit. And then I'll move back a little bit. All right, and they're like kind of down in the water a little bit too. Yeah, move back in there. All right. Um, how high is the ceiling here? Um, I think it's 20 feet. All right. I am going to fly up to the full height that I can. Start. A hit. Oh, wait. Uh, he has not gone yet this turn, right? He has not. Which gives you advantage anyways. Your next shot also has advantage. Thanks to Bass in the chat it's like this is a hand crossbow by the way and he's he's done uh fanning the hammer 60 something points of damage right yeah 64 
<laughs> and uh, which one is this one? Oh, this one is the one on the Stagamus. Hmm, what are we having for lunch? Looks like some Trident. Make two pincers attacks. And so let's see if I can get you with a pincer. It like reaches out and like snips and misses totally as a standard miss. You like step on his claw, you know, <laughs> pin it down a little. He's like fumbling around. And he tries to get you with his other claw. And uh, and misses as you dodge out of the way. And you can see he's got like tentacles hanging out of his mouth. Like, and they're feeling around. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. Squall. Uh, this guy right here in front of me. Yeah, uh, I started with an inspiration, right? Okay. Don't yeah, everybody you. should have one, including Atakiri. Uh, I'm going to step forward and hit him with the Staff of Withering. Or try to. And, oh, that is a hit. And I'm going to expend a charge. And he's going to succeed at that, so he does not take... Let's see, staff can be, what is this? Three charge above us, staff can be wielded as a magic quarter staff hit, blah, blah, blah. So when you hit it, some <laughs> blue gunk so it, slime right. flies out onto you, and you're like, ew, and you don't feel so good. Right, so uh, I will, oh, from him? Yeah. You can give me damage on that attack, but, uh, and then suddenly, like, you start to, like, get stiff, and you can't move as you're paralyzed. From gunk? Yeah, from paralyzing slime. Oh, man, that's always bad stuff, man. Uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of your next turns. Next turn. Move me forward there, Drake. Five, please. Yeah. And... No, no, no. Not this turn. Huh? I didn't roll anything. Oh, it did it automatically. Rolled. That's kind of weird. Let me put that back. Who is that? Wasted? Let me put the right yeah, one on Yeah, because it says save in, so when I pass my turn to Ember, it rolls. Yeah, but it's supposed to be any of your next turns, not that turn. All right, I didn't double paralyze you, did I? Yeah. All right. Uh, Ember! All right, so... Ember's going to, uh... Yeah, you you were like, do to do to do to do and you heard... Security breach. Uh, you know, his little crossbow going off on his hip. You're like, what is that? And I'm going to sort of wave my hands in this hypnotic pattern of all these myriad colors and lights and show up uh, on noticeably Eensy's face hole. Face hole, tentacle mouth. And he, he's like, ooh. Like he licked a bread toad. And I'll turn my head sideways and realize that Scuzz, Scuzz is not there anymore. Bugged out. <laughs> you see like assholes and elbows look around and just way up back behind the corner I was like it's okay he's incapacitated for a minute uh 
Uh, well, Wasted gets to go. And uh, he's going to try his pincer attack on the guy in front of him. I'm sure he's got advantage. And misses. How do you dodge when you're paralyzed? Right? He's just blind. And, uh, and he bounces off his shield. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and you're already poisoned, so you can't be re-poisoned. Oh, he didn't even hit you, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and this guy, uh, he's got a hypnotic pattern. He's pretty much done, right? For a minute? Correct. So, uh, you see him, like, he, like, blows a couple bubbles, and he pops them with his tentacle. Because that's about all he can do. Uh, top of round two is Krell. He, like, locks and load his, his light crossbow, or hand crossbow. Yep. Reloads the clip. That sounded juicy. And he dies. Ooh, maximum damage. Action surge. Uh oh. Can't hear you, Mercury. Are you just counting to yourself? I'm gonna action surge, and then I'm gonna fly over there. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fly over there and shoot. Oh, a crit. Oh, that was his save. He didn't knock him prone. It's kind of hard to lock a lobster prone, I guess. They already are prone. And a bonus. Can't hear you again. <laughs> I did it twice. I told you. It's hard to knock a lobster prone. Just kill him. Just kill him. I was actually trying to push him back away from Squall. Not oh. <laughs> knock him prone, but I failed. He twice. can't hit me anyway. He had advantage and he missed twice. I know. They can't hit. They, they like, my precious. Scuzzer. I'm going to fire away. See if I can't hit this bastard. Uh, that's a hit. All right. And shoot him again. He's no longer blowing bubbles. And the bonus he, shot. Now he throws his claw up and blocks it. Yeah, that one got him. Got him in the got him in the claw. He found a hole in his claw. Got a little claw meat. And that's the end of Scuzzer's turn. And Squall Paralyzed. Can it's you do anything? Saving throw. Uh just saving throw at the end of my turn. That's it. I guess that's all you get. So it'll do it when I pass your turn. I don't know if it takes off the effect or not, but did you make it? It didn't even do it. Let me uh, push it's not this. On him. Paralyzed is. Yeah, but the oh same the. Uh, all right. Let me drop that on you. Oops. Got to be able to see you. No. <laughs> So you're not 
released from the paralyzation, and he gets to go. So he's going to try to uh, grab you with his pincer. And still miss. This is the first one. Second one. Oh, and he crits. Uh -oh. With an effect. Uh, an, in addition to the critical hit damage, you're paralyzed for a round. <laughs> oh, yay. <yeah. laughs> so he grabs you by the boys, paralyzing you more. And uh, and he does uh, 12 points of damage. Pretty crappy roll. And, uh, and you are grappled... I think I've got something. What is it? Something hits me. Wrath of the storm. I can rebuke attackers. When a creature within five feet of you that can see you hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to cause the creature to make a deck saving throw. I don't think you can use a reaction when you're paralyzed. Can, can you not? Let's see. Probably not. Paralyzed... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Can't you can do move anything. or speak. Automatically fail to save. Attack rolls against have advantage, and, attack, and you're incapacitated. Incapacitated, you can't take actions or reactions. Yeah, no. Okay, gotcha. You're pretty much a potato. potato. And, uh, and he's paralyzed. Tomato. And I think he's going to crawl over this way. Like, up under where Krell's at. I'm going to move Krell one more so we're not stacking tokens Fine. like that. And uh, and then he passes his turn. Uh, this guy is going to uh, scamper up now that he's no longer uh, has hypnotic pattern on him because he got shot. He is going to try to... Is he squeezing? Does he have a minus to hit? Uh, no, he... He wouldn't take the minus. He's going to just take his 10-foot reach and try to grab you from there. Okay. And he missed for the first one. The second one is a miss as well. And then he's going to squeeze. <laughs> so let me give him some squeeze love. Squeezed. How come that's not part of the freaking regular... squeezing and uh ember you're like ah things like trying to have you for lunch you never had lobster that wants to eat you so i'm going to shift over one to give scuzzer a clearer shot i'm going to stab it spent all that time training oh you got him because he's squeezing he's like ah. And I stab him with my trident. All right. Well, nice. since you hit him, I need to roll to see if you get some gunk on you. Some gunk splatters on you, and you look down at it, and you're like, uh-oh, as you are poisoned and <clears throat> paralyzed. You know, he did warn us that it smelled like uh, the dumpster behind the Boston Lobster Feast. The all-you-can-eat lobster house, you know. It's uh, it's like the dumpster at Golden Corral. Same thing. Yeah, all-you-can-eat crab legs. Oh, God, could you imagine? The <laughs> Snagmas. All right. Uh, I want to get away from this thing, so I'm going to try to shocking grasp him, so... Reach out with my lightning. When you hit him. 12 points. All right, great. Uh, so, since he can't take reactions, I will uh, move away. Uh, do you actually have to touch him? It uh, It is touch. All right. So let's see how you fare when you get this this golden corral dumpster juice on you oh man you don't fare well so you're not going anywhere there buddy as you're poisoned and paralyzed oh okay that didn't work as well as i would hope <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it rolled for me, but that's okay because I failed. So. All right. Scuzzer, round three. Yeah. See if I can't take this one out over here. Wait, Squall has advantage from Bass Snake in the chat, so. Well, I can use it. Okay. Fantastic. When you, Thank you, Bass When Snake. you can use it. Actually, uh, on your next save, if you're paralyzed. Yep. Yep. And that guy died. He's a goner. He's a goner. Then I'm going to move up my 30 feet to there and target the wasted one and take my other two shots at him. I think these should be uh, columns that go all the way to the ceiling. That would be uh, a little more interesting, I think. You hit. And he and dies. The last. Oh, didn't need the last shot. Unless you want to shoot like one of your players or something. No, that's all right. Anything else, Scuzzer? Not right now. I want to see how long it takes you guys to become unparalyzed. <laughs> they were just standing there. So, uh, Squaw, give yourself advantage. Wait, let me take off grappled. Since, wait, there's a claw still stuck to you. As it dies, it's like. And uh, let's see if right. it actually. I, I got advantage on. Huh? And didn't roll. Damn it. And I deleted them. Here, let me pull open uh, one of these guys again. Uh, you got advantage on? Yeah. Aww. Thank you. Base snake. It's not bass snake, it's base snake. <laughs> it's boss. Yeah, if you could take uh, paralyzed off of me, that'd be great. <laughs> you both made it. Uh, I want to try this. Did that work? No. Stagnant water's turn. Let me know if you guys get in the water and I'll tell you what happens. As you guys are out of initiative. Did somebody look in this room over here? Not yet. Yeah, I did it while I was paralyzed. Why? Well, I, I did it when I was a mist, and there I, I no, that's seen something I at the bottom. Not you, smartass. Who's a smartass? I may have been paralyzed too, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> All right, tokens are unlocked. You're free to move about the cabin. Yeah, like Does anybody was, want some uh, some uh, dumpster no. lobster? I don't even want to think about it. I've had to park back there before because you know you. Can you imagine really what kind of shits that would give you? Oh no. Oh. That's why I don't like crab. I had it it's one like time. Like major I pain. I got a high enough constitution. I can got, handle it. Got poisoned on crab when I was a kid. I can't do it any. I can't. I can't even stand the smell of it. So, I'll fly on over into this room. Yeah, this room's only like 10 feet time. high, so. Uh, but All you right, do I'll, see I'll... a depression and something way down in the murky water. You're like, well, I can't quite tell exactly what it is. You think it might be some kind of jar or bottle or something down there? I'll dive down and retrieve it. And <laughs> dive in the water? Uh, let's see what the water does. I'm praying for him. Hang on a second. I'm praying for him. Please yeah. hold your breath. Please hold your breath. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, let's see. This dingy or this disgusting water is filled with rotting det detritus, detritus, restricting detritus. visibility to 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 around ten feet. Any creature other than the the lobster crab things that get in the water and make a Constitution saving throw, which you failed. So uh, you're poisoned. I hope it's good. That is the only roll that would have failed that for you. Yeah, I rolled a one. <laughs> All right, well, if he's done swimming, or you done swimming around in this shit, let's get back <laughs> here. I'm not paralyzed, I'm just poisoned. No, he just poisoned. He's like, I oh, it. I don't feel so good. Oh, I he thought kinda... she retrieved something. Yeah, I was uh, going to retrieve it. So and it's a, when the... you get down there, you see that it's a it's a jar about about a little bit smaller about as big around as a hubcap maybe a little bit bigger about this tall like two Can feet I tall carry it up? and there's something inside of it yeah yeah what's your strength yeah 13 uh, yeah it's not that heavy it's a it's a jar i'll bring it up i'll bring it over don't look at it Let's see if there's a... Back over here. Where's the pen? Anybody oh, have a mace? To here, open the jar? Back over here to the landing. It says it's a small jar, but it, it's, uh, it's you know, it's like a big cookie jar or something. Like a pickled pig's feet jar. That's what I said it was, right? It's about that size. Yeah. You think there's pickled pig's feet in it, too, now that you get it out in the light? You're like, what is in here? Pickled you eggs. You shake it up a little know. bit, and it... And it and actually it looks like a brain, and the brain is pulsating, and you can see the brain Destroy has like it. tentacles hanging out of it. Destroy like, it. I shoot it. Smash Kill it. it. Destroy it. So you like smash it on the ground, or you shoot it from afar, or burn it with flaming arrows? What? I mean, all of the above. <laughs> so you just Stomp on the it, arrows are all stuck it. in this brain. It does. That's not twitching no more. It's like the wrath of Krell. It just turns into a pile of goop, brain goop. You're like, oh, that was easy. Wasn't that hard to now we know what smash? Flavored the water. Brain, brain juice flavored water. What's up here? Let's go up here. I don't know what's up here. Oh, I know what's up here. Who goes up there? Can I see anything uh, from here? Not me. I'm going to tell him not to go up there because I went you're up like, there. Like, <laughs> As a there's, something, there's some kind of writing on the walls. You went up there as a mist? What did you see? Some kind of writing yeah, on the it, walls. It, it's it's uh not good. <laughs> well now you just tempted me. It's engravings of Squall's mom. Well I don't know. Yeah, who goes up there? Certain bathrooms Are you going up there? Can I move your token up there? Winner. Huh? Who's going up there? You're not moving anybody's token. All right, Drake. Fuck. I'll go pick up here. I can't hear him. Over the there. walls of this cavern Don't are covered. <laughs> are covered in petroglyphs. The hideous, unspeakable forms portrayed in the ancient artwork is appalling to behold, and the acts of debauchery in which they are engaged make the portrayals all the worse. Uh, right. It is my mom. So you need to give me a intelligence, or I'm a sorry, box. a charisma saving throw. Oh, fantastic! What was that? Uh, uh, the DC was an 18, which you failed. Which I failed. So you uh, become paralyzed. 
as you retreat into your mind, because these things are so vicious, you're like, oh, and you retreat into your mind for... Three minutes. So what are you guys going to do for three minutes? Uh, carry him around? Like put him Drool. on the broom? Like lean him, hang him Drool. over the edge of the broom? I'm going to use Mage Hand to uh, put pieces of the dead crab all over him. Can I still do the Thorazine shuffle? What's Thorazine? So what they're giving everybody in one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Thorazine. Oh. Oh, wait, did you fail by five or more? Oh, you're not paralyzed. Right? You had a 12. The DC was an 18. Oh, you're not paralyzed. Let me take that back. Right. Red Recon, you are... Vivid hallucinations and have disadvantage on ability checks for three minutes. <laughs> There's scenes from the, the, the event horizon. So you're fine. You're fine. You can, every now and then you see a, 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 a ladybug fly by and go. <laughs> and on the back of the ladybug is Clyde and he's flinging poo off of it. That's it. That's all that's up here. So move your tokens all the way down to the bottom down here. Actually, don't even move your tokens because we're going to another map. Oh, wait, no. You guys want to check out, like, these doors way down here, don't you? At the very, very, very bottom. That door. There's a door. You think it leads into the where the statues go? Yeah. Sure. Let's see. Uh the doors it's a good band people are strange when you're a stranger places look ugly when quick open alone. the doors open the doors Uh, the door is locked. Wait, I'm trying to catch up. Hey, man, did you see that? <laughs> wow. Uh, wait a second. Is this a giant lava lamp? I can't get it to turn on. Hmm. Didn't say anything about that freaking door. Bastards. All right. It's not locked. You open it. Everyone dies. Uh, let me uh, open this little hallway. And it's a 20-foot hallway, and at the end of it, you see another door. Where the other door goes to? Yeah, where's that door go? That's the question. That is the question. It's right there. Maybe it's the only bathroom in this whole place. <laughs> it's a little port -a Maybe there's another brain it's a in there. There's a hole in the floor. It's just a little porta potty room. It's a closet. Got to take a leak. It's where the animated brooms come out when you mess up the magic spells. Did it? Did it? Did how does that song go? Sorcerer's Prince. Um, so I'm going to open this door. Uh, oh, wait, you went in? Oh, let's see what happens when you go in. No, I didn't go in. I just opened the door. <laughs> well, no, you went into the hallway. Oh, in the hallways. Hmm.
All right, so uh, when you get to like right here, uh, you take uh, five points of damage. Whoa. As you step on spikes all over the ground that you didn't see, they were camouflaged. Uh, no perception roll or nothing. Uh, well, yeah. now that you're standing there, if you would wish to make a perception yeah, I, roll, you I, can. Yeah, I can see him now. <laughs> Let me pull it out of I use your I use your passive perception, and it wasn't high enough. Oh, well, I was just wondering if this uh, staff did anything with all the eyes all over it. It doesn't add to your passive perception, I would bet money. Advantage on perception checks. So you have advantage to see them now that you're stepping on them. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> see into the ethereal, see invisible creatures, blah, 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 not fucking spikes. <laughs> you can't see spike growth spell on the floor. Oh, do, DC do of I 20. See, DC's a 20. Do I so. see more between here and the door? Oh, give me a passive perception or a, a perception <laughs> check with advantage. <laughs> Okay. The DC's a 20. Do I see any? I've got a pass. All right. You rolled a 20. You can see the whole floor all the way is spiked. Okay. You got a 20, Krell? Yeah, you can. You're like, yep. You point to him. <laughs> yep. So you just Spikes. let me walk in there. My passive is 22. Now that you walk up there, you can see him too. He's like, yep, I can see him. Oh, hey, there's a spike right there. <laughs> Got a spike through his foot. Jumped off a stage one time onto a board with a nail sticking up. <clears throat> Ran it all the way through my foot. When I was, uh, I was about six or seven, my mom told us don't to go down to the street because they're building a house and we're going to step on a nail. And I went down to the street, down to the house, and I stepped on a nail. <laughs> and it went through my foot, bottom of my foot, stuck out between my toes. And it was totally covered in rust. So needless to say, after I limped around for, I don't know, a day before my mom noticed, I kind of got a little infected. Dude, I don't know how you could take it for a day. That freaking hurt. Uh, it's better than getting in trouble by my mom. I guess your mom was a mean woman. Yeah. Rob Tui's mom. <clears throat> she would whip me with a two by four that had a nail in it. Oh no, I'm kidding. She was a spanker of convenience. Let's put it that way. So whatever is convenient. If you're ba if you're talking to her on the phone and fighting, you get the phone. If you if she's Mowing the grass, you get run over by the lawnmower. Whatever, you know. And Gorgio is pissed off because he can't redeem Clyde. Disadvantage to ever summon Clyde. What's up, Gorgio? Yeah, they already summoned Clyde. You gotta get Clyde. here earlier, brother. But just because I know you had a long day at work and everything. Um, oh. And Gorgio, I will let you... At least hear the music. Clyde got Krell in the beak with apple taffy smelling poop. So what are you guys going to do? Just stare at this hallway or you're leaving it? I'm not going in there. Don't you want do to this? Later? Don't you want to play with this stuff in here? No, Come I on. limped off. I limped off over here, <laughs> grumbling. I, I do boy. wonder what's in that room, but I one? don't know if it's worth it. Yeah. Here, I'll give. I, I, I'll, I'll entice you guys. I'll entice you guys. <laughs> Does that help? I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. We never did go into this room at all. 
Yeah, it had that black lightning stuff. Yeah, he's statues and uh, statues with black beams of energy shooting out random locations i cannot fly so i cannot go in you can take a run and dive across and see how far you can make it you might get to the last square or so S squall why didn't you just fly over he forgets he has boots of flying because he plays so many games. He has no he... intention of. Well, now that's that that that's a good point that Spiked. you bring up there, Krell. I wasn't born with feathers, my friend. That I, I have to try to remember these things. Obviously. I mean. I... I could fly over to try and open the door, but I still don't want to get into that room with the random magic lightning yeah, zapping and, around. And your hover ability is pretty slim. Yeah. If only we had a broom that, that we could fly on. Brooms can't really hover well, either, I don't think, but boots of flying, I think, uh, do. Can I, uh, can I use um, the Staff of the Magi and cast Passwall right here? Uh, probably. The only way to find out is try. Don't get All stuck right. about halfway through there, blockhead. So, uh, five feet wide, eight feet tall, and 20 feet deep. All right, so yeah, so you open up a little hallway there, and inside of there, you see, uh... That woman we left behind. It looks like a, a like an extra dimensional tunnel. Like it stretches way further than the room looks. Wow. And uh, and Squall looks at you and goes, "That's an illusion." So the 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 staff actually did some good. <laughs> <laughs> It's only uh it's only a ten foot deep by ten foot wide room. Well what's in the room? Uh it appears to be empty. Anybody wanna go in and check it out? Have you detected magic yet? Uh, I probably haven't done it in a while, so yeah, I'll cast Detect Magic. Well, you do detect uh, plenty of magic in the area, like Pass Wall is probably one thing you notice. Uh, and uh, and the room does glow magical, because there is an illusion spell in there. What about the spikes on the floor? Uh, you do also... Let me... Uh, detect Magic... Uh, pop that on the... Pop that in the uh, chat for me real quick while I'm looking for something else. There you go. So that illusion of the of the hallway was actually there. Do I? <laughs> uh, I think they misread the the detect magic that ten minutes, not the sound. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. That <laughs> that illusional illusion wall was is actually there in the room of a passage. The illusion of a passage. There's an illusion of a corridor. So Ember definitely gonna check that out and go in there and, and look around and study it and try to figure out where it's coming from. If it, is it like a permanent thing? Is there a creature there that's casting it? I'm gonna definitely spend some time looking at that. So you, you so you move into the room. As a... I'm gonna start in the passageway, studying it first, and then, as long as I don't get any heebie-jeebies, I'm gonna step into the room and study it. Uh, well, the Stagmus is like he's he's casting detect magic, and and you move through the pass wall into the room, into the illusion. Do you step into the illusion? Again, I'm going to stay in the pass wall section 
And then if I don't mm-hmm. get anything weird happening, or you don't, if he doesn't warn nothing me not happens to, in the, about five nothing minutes, happens into the, into the room. Oh, five minutes. Uh, so you detect uh, uh, illusion sphere. You detect uh, your your uh, your transmutation from the pass wall, and you also detect a conjuration spell or conjuration magic, not a spell. Anyways. What about these spikes? And I will tell uh, Ember about that. The spikes are magical as well. Uh, and it's so whatever Ember spike would growth spell is. Does that... Uh, would Does transmutation... Would that mean it's going to trigger something and I'm going to be changed? Transmutation, you means? think, is probably the pass wall. So that's it then, just the pass wall and the uh There's three the illusion. There. Illusion, oh. transmutation, and conjuration. Conjuration. So that's the uh the third one. Mm-hmm. That so I don't I'm know. Take my rope out and uh r- tie it around my wrist and hand the majority of it to Nystagmus and then I'm gonna step in and look around and start studying it. Uh, you hand the rope to who? Who'd you say? Nystagmus, who's right there. It's 50 feet of rope. When you go into the room? Yes. Nystagmus, you see him walk into the room, and he looks like he's just walking and walking and walking in this cavern. Uh, where? Oh, actually, all three of you guys see that. He just, he just like, steps into the room. He's walking, he's walking, he's walking. However, the rope is limp. Uh, I want to call out. Ember, can you hear me? He does not respond. I'll give it just a couple seconds, and then I'll I'll call out again. And if he does not respond, I want to grab the rope and start pulling, pulling right, it in. All right, so you pull your rope out. He was fun. Or his rope. It's his rope, actually. Oh, what happened to Ember? <laughs> so, Squall, you come back up there? Can we still see him in there? Uh, you do not see Ember at all. He's gone. The other three see him walking down a long-ass hallway. He's getting further and further away. Well, what are you guys looking at? Where'd Ember go? They all point. Doing? They all point at him. He dropped the rope. He is not there. What do you mean so, he's not there? He's right there. <laughs> yeah, you he's you definitely there. see the illusion of him walking down a hallway. Squall. Then I'll cast so what spell. is his detect magic doing? Did it flare up? Did it? So I don't see him. I don't see him at all. But they do, right? Correct. Well, you see that he there's an illusion of him, but you know it's an illusion. Oh, even him is it? It's all an illusion. That is not Ember. That's an illusion. And I'll I'll dispel magic on it. Uh, ooh. On the illusion. Ember's spell. He's been an illusion this yeah. entire time. <laughs> uh, uh, let's Scuzz see. are so confused. <laughs> Let's see what level the spell is. The spell is... is It's only a first level. So you dispel the illusion. Loop. And now you guys all just see an empty room. Some, uh... Some, uh... Kind of... Muddy footprints, maybe? That stop about uh, one step into the room? Now where's Ember? He's not in there. Around. Here, let me let me help you out with the uh, with the illusion here. Does he have that invisibility spell? Is he fucking with us? <laughs> he, uh, the Stagmus has uh, 
detect magic going and his his uh, staff would uh, or robe or something would allow him to see invisibility so you don't think it's an ember joke so ember um i'm gonna i'm gonna i want to i want to talk to you for a second i want to move you to general lobby real quick and i'll join you in a second i'll be right back so uh you uh got teleported yep okay how far does your message work being attacked no no you're not being attacked currently uh, and i have to know what direction they're in what direction they're in oh I'm going to, so I'll, it says, uh, let me verify that for sure. Here it is. A yeah, point your creature toward a, finger toward a creature. It has to be able to get through there, but it can pass, go around walls and around corners and stuff. I just have to know where they are. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let you guess on which direction they're in, but let me find the map real quick, and uh, we'll, uh, uh, I guess so many things open right now. Here we go. I think you are... Let me see. This place is so huge. Number, where do you go? Uh, where do you teleport to? 67. Okay, yeah. So, which direction uh, are you pointing in? North, south, east, or west? Uh, what? I have dark vision. Am I? Is there anything in this place uh, with me? Yeah, you're in a in about five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty by thirty oval shaped room. Uh, there's pulse lighting lights of mirrored colors create a circle on the floor of this domed ceiling. A glass panel hangs on one of the walls. So I'm not in any immediate danger then, it would appear. No, there's nobody in here. And the room is like 20 by 20, and it's like dome shape. It's it's very mind flyery, you know, very spacey feeling, like you're on a space vessel, you know, like when you were inside that crashed vessel. So you think you're inside okay. of one of those rooms somewhere. So this mislead spell I'm throwing in, in chat, it says you can move the double of yourself up to twice your speed. Would I be able to go through doors? Because it's an know. illusion. It's a fifth level spell. Because calling up Wings isn't going to help because he can't open doors. I don't see why not. It, it doesn't seem like you shouldn't be able to go through solid objects, right? It seems like you should, right? I, I agree with you. Okay, so I'm going to use my fifth level spell... So, wait, sort of so, wait, in so you actually do make an illusion of yourself. <laughs> it's in the uh, oval room, so I'm just going to sit down, get my back against the wall, and then uh, my illusion will stand up, and I'm going to start looking for these guys using its eyes. It says concentration up to an hour. Uh, you can see through its eyes and hear through its ears as if you were located where it is. On each of your turn as a bonus action, you could switch. Okay, so you can come back again. Or using it since you are blind and deaf in regard to your own surroundings. So that's, uh, I'm going to, however long you want to take to do that, 
I'm going to search until I find them. Um, if I need to backtrack, I want to be able to lead them to me with my illusion. Oh, uh, wow. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to jump back to them. All right, so that's going to take you a little bit of time to get or, you know, get figure out where you're at and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll yeah, pull you back know if in. I'm on but... the same level, if I'm in the same spot. Yeah, you, you know, idea, yeah. So, so we'll, I'm let's just drop start back looking to see if I can find him. Okay, I'm pulling you back. All right. So who's next? Well, uh, <laughs> I had an idea, but uh, Engorgio did redeem uh, a random teleport in the chat for me. For you, huh? Which great. is just great. Uh, actually, that only works in combat. So uh, next time we're in combat, the first round, you're going to get randomly teleported. All right. Um, so what I would like to do at this point is pull out my uh, rust-colored bag of tricks and pull out a small furry animal and throw it into the room. Okay. Go ahead and... Uh... Do you have the bag and the table and all to roll on? All right, let's I see do. what. It's a rat. It's a rat. <laughs> so, Ember. <laughs> too bad. Too bad it wasn't a monkey. A freaking, a freaking rat. <laughs> it it uh, as soon as it hits the ground, it vanishes, in a in a in a. Conjuration. Isn't that what I said? I could do it twice more if you guys think it's useful. I'm going to turn around and look at these guys and say, ain't nothing for it. I'm going to step forward. Yeah, Valtrex likes playing a furry. He really does. I'll step into the room. Conjuration. Hey, where's yeah. everybody going? <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't like Tabaxi's at first, but Shadow's... Alright, so, Krell, oh, you scared. teleport away. Oh, everybody's going? Alright, it's getting crowded in here. Uh, Skies are still thinking So about I'm gonna it. pull everybody into the general lobby so I can talk to you. You're no, on I'm your kidding. own now. I'm kidding. Alright, uh, 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 we're gonna... We're gonna take and close this map. And open... And I'm gonna let you hold off on that spell, uh, Ember. You hadn't quite... You, you hadn't quite cast it yet. Yay, you're really nice. Thank you. <laughs> it's only a fifth level spell. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. And I need this map. And I need to open up this room. Like that. And, uh. Be positive, Scuzzer. I guess this room's a little bigger than I said it was, uh, Ember. I wasn't zoomed in enough. I was counting the big squares. Let's put Ember back in the world. All right, big map coming to you. So that kind of gives you kind of an idea where you're at. But your characters don't know. I guess I should, uh... I should do one of these things, huh? <laughs> sure, you sure you don't want to move this to Unity? <laughs> I would have I had uh, Matakiri been a little uh, faster on his draw, literally. 
because he uh, did a line of sight on all this. It's not. It didn't have line of sight on it. It doesn't have. It doesn't have line of sight in the whole module. So as you guys teleport into the room, Ember has his back to you. He's looking up at this crystal window and stuff, and he turns around and he's got these tentacles coming down from his chin. So I I think we were teleported. Yeah, so pulsating lights of mirrored color create a circle on the floor of this dome. It should say dome room. Uh, a glass panel hangs on one of the walls. So you guys see the two doors uh, and a glass panel. Is the, that the glass panel and the doors are on the other side of it or what? This is... Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Line. I don't know what that and line Ember, represents. Ember has tentacles on his face. Correct, like the pirate we killed. You look so good. You don't, you don't look like a mind flare. So we don't need to kill you. That's what you're saying. And we got and thinking you were an imposter out there. And then it'll disappear. Ha. But just an illusion. I, I, I kid. I'm surprised, but glad you followed me. I'm not sure I would have done the same. Well, stupid is, stupid does. Do we know where we are? <laughs> we weren't looking for you. We were looking for the rat. I'm sorry, this is a glass wall. That's a and glass there is a wall. glass panel on the wall over here. Did you see this room when you were a mist? No, I did not see this room. This is all new to me. Since this was on the other side of the room with the statues, I do not believe this is a trap. I think this is more just a easier way to transport back and forth. Yeah, the room doesn't appear to be hostile or anything. Think uh, Star Trek teleporter pad. But we're stuck behind a glass wall. Yeah. You checked out this glass we... panel yet? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This panel may be our way out. Energize. Looking for some levers and switches. and. Uh, the panel looks kind of familiar. Like you guys have seen one of these before. On a ship? His right. detect yeah. magic is still going. Does he see any detect does he see any the, magic? Oh, him? yeah. Everything's magical. This requires a hand. He's like, ah! <laughs> Ow. I, I, I turn it off. <laughs> you break. Like a handprint with three fingers. All right, who's gonna All cut right, off a up. couple of fingers? I don't know why this is in the in the weird area, uh, but I just when I zoomed into a different spot, this is not a glass wall on the floor. It is a glass wall up top. It's ten feet off the ground. And it's like a circular uh, walkway that is elevated 10 feet off the floor of the chambers. So it's like got a little rail, like a little rail. And, or Actually, there's no rail on it, and it's 10 feet up. There's a hallway so, up top. So when you look up, like you a, can see... A bridge. Uh, yeah, you can see a bridge, and you can see uh, doors up there. Like, on each so side, there's a door, and there's a little uh, a floor that's 10 feet up. It's kind of tunnel. It's kind of round-shaped. The hall is. There's a wall across here. Yeah, that's a, that's a, it looks like a, a polished stone or steel wall. Let me... Uh, so this is like an operating there. room, and they... People can yeah. observe what's going on down below. So, similar, yeah. I see anything on this panel? Uh, the panel is... Uh, 
is a glass plate with a burnished uh, plate of dark metal, and it's embossed with a braille-like form on it. There's like braille or bumps on it. Uh, Ember would recognize that as a language of called Quaileth. It's a language of Ithlids or mind flayers. So I'll mention that that is a language which you don't speak, research, right? Show them, yeah. show them a couple examples, uh, in within the research I had. Yeah, he's like, look, it looks like Braille. <laughs> so this is. 10 feet above those guys if I flew up here. I'm 10 feet above them. Yep. And next to... Uh, there's a glass panel down here on the floor. Let me let me clarify. That has the Quaileth writing on it. Then when you get up top, there's also a panel next to each door. That's very, very similar. Is it... Are these walls... Can I tell what they're made of? And the floor uh, You think they're made out of steel? So we might be trapped. Some kind here. of alien metal. Well, I don't know. Have we tried the doors yet? The doors don't have any handles or anything on them, and they're extremely tightly fit. We might be in one of their nautilid ships. How did we open the doors in that crashed ship? Me neither. I do. I mean, we definitely opened them. I think you opened one. Right. And then we found the fish tanks with the tadpoles. By the way, did, has anybody got Baldur's Gate 3 yet? I'm I not getting it. I'm not getting it for a while. I want it to be done fully working. finished yeah yep and i have to stop one of my games so i can play it <laughs> I mean, I can't, five nights a week i'm playing D, &D. i don't have time for Baldur's gate uh ember can you decipher any of this writing So I can't get up to the... Yeah, he's like... <laughs> he jumps up. I mean, you can get to the glass panel down on the floor. Do you still have my rope? <laughs> he does. He's carrying it around. Yeah, actually. I'll hand it back to you. <laughs> so I'll climb up the rope up onto the ledge, and I'll try uh, figuring out this panel. All right. Well, while you're figuring that out, and we're going to send uh, John to the kitchen to get some coffee. And I'm going to go down and make another drink as we're going to take a 10-minute break. 10-minute break. Cool. I'm going to make some peanut butter and jelly. You're going to buy a Christmas present in Gorgio? That might be a good idea. Maybe I'll do a Christmas present for myself. All right, so we're going to uh, take a quick 10-minute break. Let me, uh, let me fire up the timer. Not that button. This button. And set the timer for 21.40. Get that going. And uh, we'll be back stream. So come back in about nine minutes and we'll be poking back. So we'll see you in just a little bit. I'm going to put some music on for you too if, if you want to leave the stream up. So we'll be back.
Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah. It's delicious. <gasps> yeah. Body of the sun dips into the waves. You stand on your toes, but the rocks give away. You pull out my ropes, but the knots never tie. Oh, I showed you love, and I promise I tried.
Right. Players are coming back. It actually says in the rule book you can do that. So talk to my DMs and screw with it. So, oh, I'm getting an echo. That's because I got the stream on. Let me turn that down. Turn my well, he off. just said, screw you, DM. I think that's what he said. He tried. He doesn't know. He's the one that's getting screwed. No, now. the DM screwed us. Look, we're, we're actually, I screwed us because I. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't kill Ember. I got to thinking for a minute I might have killed him after <laughs> I cast a spell magic. So you're looking at the glass panel on the wall on the down below, Ember? Uh, give me no, I'm, a... No, I'm climbed up onto the railing onto that bridge, oh. and I'm at the door trying to mess with the panel by the door. Yeah, so it has the Quaileth inscription on it. Give me an intelligence check. You're, you're trying to interpret the, the, the Quaileth? Let me pray for you. Sure. What is that, 1d4 or 1d6? I forget. Uh, it's, d4. It's 1d4, and I can just... Uh... Oh, there. There you go. I don't think it'll work if it's... Uh, stra straight. It only works for skills, doesn't it? We'll find out. It did work. Oh, it did. Cool. But an 11 is not enough. <laughs> so let's see. There's only see. so much Tempest can do. Uh, I roll the toots on the dice. Awesome. Uh, so give me a wisdom saving throw. That might. <laughs> All right. So. So you don't understand it, but you don't. Uh, uh, you, so you, yeah, so you get a crushing headache. You're like ah, and then you shake it off. You're like okay, sure. It's called if we only had a. You have a piece of mundane equipment, and I, if we only had a translation book. It's uh, for this language to that you know that he finds some you know if we only had some tucked away note in the back of one of these books in his book bag his satchel. Let me see it. You can you post it in chat or? Uh, I think it's, it's called if we only had it. If we if we only had yeah, but I'll look it up and post it for you. I don't uh, see, see it. Qualis the common dictionary. Uh, yeah, where the hell is the cards at? Let's see. I could try casting knock on one of these doors. Inspiration cards. I don't, I don't, I don't, see, but I don't, I don't see an if. 
and the cards. If only oh, here it is. It. Yeah, here it is. If we only had it. So it's a bronze card. You happen upon a piece of mundane equipment of your choosing, or you make something useful from an environment for a fallen creature. Yeah, like if there was an illithid laying here dead, I'd cut its hand off and wipe its hand on this thing, see if it worked like a scam. Well, a mundane piece of equipment would be like, I need a fork, or I want a spoon, or, uh, you know. A dictionary. Yeah, a book dictionary. Yeah, this is this is a little more. Yeah, I mean a you know a, a dictionary translation. Yeah, Quaileth is not a thing that you can easily. I will give you a hint though. Uh, uh let me see something here. Does the hint cost me this card? Yes. Uh, fuck, yeah, okay. Nystagmus, you can use your little mouth tentacles to pretend you're uh, an illicit. Look through my eyes. They, they, they don't actually work, they're just ornamentation. Can you make your eyes do that? Forgot to shave this morning. So as you're as you, no. you pull, you, you're thinking and you and you like bump into Ember a little bit, and out of his pouch falls a scroll. Oh! Smack Ember over the head with the scroll. Oh yeah, I got one of those too. It is ritual. Yeah, do you so pick can, it? Uh, do you pick it up and hand it back to him? You just pick it up and hand. Oh, this fell out of your pouch. <laughs> Liam, squall. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. What? What is this? <laughs> Let's see. Bard, elder knight, sorcerer, warlock, wizard, arcane. So yeah, you. Here, it's you, bro. So I will. Uh... Actually, just uh, spend the time and cast the ritual. Because I know the spell. It's a divination spell. Cleric. Oh, no, never mind. I'm thinking divine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. All right. All right. So you can, you can kind of understand that the language is... Uh... Is Quaileth now? It's clear. Uh, let's see. Provides understanding of the spell equivalent to what a mind flare would get from it. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, you think that you do not have the proper anatomy to be able to use this properly in other words you don't have tentacles on your face well you you had an illusion of one earlier <laughs> but illusion doesn't work so knowing what i know let's let me look at this other spell i have see if that will work hold on how many times can you pass wall Uh, I can't pass all through metal. I do have Dimension Door, which I can cast twice. Uh, oh, wait, maybe I can cast it more than three people through. I can go through. I have my own Dimension Door. Yeah, I can cast it three times, so I can get onto the other side of the door and back, and then back onto the other side of the and door. take one person with you each time. Yeah, so I can get so you can take myself three of us and, and two others. Then we can take a long rest, and I could do it again. So it says you transform your appearance using the change appearance. What I and it says facial features, distinguishing characteristics. So can I make my facial features and my distinguishing characteristics be lithid-like? 
you make yourself appear as a member of another race. <laughs> it's not an illusion. It's actually a, a transmutation. Yeah. But by God, that'd be a cool use of that spell if you could do that. Yeah, you're not changing their size or anything. The basic shape stays the same. If you're bipedal, you can't use the spell to become quad quadrupedal, for instance. Uh, you can use your action to change your appearance in this way again. Uh, let's see. Care, color, distinguishing characteristics. All right, let me read. Uh, so, I'm going to, he's going to try it, whether it works or not. That doesn't work. I'm going to try knock. <clears throat> well, we also have it pushed on the door to see if it's open. Yeah, you haven't even touched the door. I mean, I'm assuming you touched the door, but no, it, the door doesn't. You think this definitely opens the doors? This well, pad. we've been here and done this before. We did yeah. this on that ship. Uh, the DC strength check is a 30 to open the doors, by the way. So just shows you how tough they are. Um, but I think you got a pretty good idea here. Each door is imbued with psionic energy and functions like an arcane lock spell. The Quaileth inscription on the plate describes the genoflexions a mind flyer must make with its tentacles to open the door. Other creatures with at least four tentacles can emanate or imitate these motions to bypass the lock provided they can interpret the inscription. Well, you've already interpreted the description because you've cast um, comprehend languages on it. you got to be within five feet of the door. Creatures without the, pre the, re the requisite tentacles and knowledge must open the lock by more conventional means. Uh, yeah. You can also use a decapitated mind flyer head and animate dead spell. However, you don't have that, so uh, the door slides yes. open as he fumbles around with it and figures out how to open it. So he's got he's got like his face and tentacles hanging down. He, he's trying to practice on moving the tentacles around. And it's a little hard you can for do him. Do that but... at will for an hour now. Change back and forth at will. For no, an hour. it's well, I am. In a lithid for an hour. Well, you have uh, a I lithid. Back and forth. You have a lithid tentacles, I, I think, and the semblance of one. Right. I could have stood behind the stagamus and, you know, wiggled his around like this. Uh, so, so the <laughs> south door is the one you open. Marbanya, will you delete your uh, arrow there and let me open this up? Yeah. What's it mean by uh, at at any time for the duration of the spell you can use your action to change your appearance in this way again? Means you can just change it to something else, or what? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess I could change it back and forth. I've always just only used it for my aquatic thing. So. Right. So there's a, a hallway and another door. Looks like you're leading. Well, we've come this far. Oh, yes, right, right at the beginning. I, I stopped reading after the first sentence. <laughs> the only problem with that is he... Oh, you're not paralyzed. So you still got paralyzed on you. Everybody check to make sure you don't have some weird shit on you. But drop that concentration on yourself. I did, but I've been taking medication for it. So it's, <clears throat> I'm assuming it it's been over an hour, right? What's been over an hour? Since our last combat. No. Okay, then I'll leave Hunter's mark on. Cool. It's probably been about 10 minutes. So the door closes again. And the 
let's not get separated. <laughs> if Ember stayed in there and shut the door and we're in the hallway, none of us can open it. Uh, the door is closed. I'm going to go back to the door and yell for Ember and see if he can hear me. Shh, shh, shh. Don't be yeah. doing that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did we lose Ember? Is that what happened? Ember. Sorry, yep. Ember. Family aggro. Oh. I'm back. Family aggro. Yeah, so you were standing there, everyone walked in, you're still standing there, and the door closes. And Scuzzer's like, hey, wait, uh, and he doesn't catch the door in time. <laughs> So you got to do it again. You're like, uh, psh, yeah. the door opens. Could he hear me through the door or not? The, uh, no. So do you think these doors are airtight? Wait See, till Nystagmus turns around and I'll sort of go behind Scuzzer. Had to get shot in the face. If you're not careful. Rip the top of Krell's head off again. Look at his little bird brain in there. <laughs> it took you a while to find it. You have to go fishing. <laughs> All right. So is it the same thing then? Yeah, it's another door with another pad next to it. Use your face to open that door. So I'm looking for uh, anything that says bathroom. Ever since that teleport, I've been having, I've had to go, so. Banyo. Hombres and chicas. You open on that open door? door? I will open the door. All right. Let me Make sure everybody's it. ready. Open the door. I'm I'm drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing. I guess I'm considered undrawing, right? Caesar, you uh you get them those pork rinds that pop in the microwave like uh popcorn? Yes. Uh, no, I haven't seen them. Local bakery oh, they... here sells them. Oh. Yeah, they're just they're like popcorn in a bag and they fluff up and stuff and, and they're the absolute best pork rinds you'll ever get. I have to try to find some. They had a really good one at Costco. We picked up some there one time. So, tattered sheets of skin, hunks of twitching muscle, and bones reinforced with burnished metal are being stored in, like, the half barrels around the room. Standing half formed in the center of the dome is a hulking humanoid creature. Let's keep walking. Kill it with fire. Before the door closes, people, let's go. And we're yep. walking, and we're walking. So it does, does it react to us when we come in? It does. Uh oh. Well, I was, I was, I was standing back here behind Krell. Oops, my map's on top of my button. Do which one's the bird, leave me alone. Yeah, Caesar was just hauling ass to the other door. So the golem, like, where is he at? Uh, 
the the golem looks up and starts to move around and and you guys are like holy shit <coughs> and uh scuzzer you get to go first yeah he can't be friendly he doesn't look friendly he's like he like reaches let over let me see if and, i can't uh, piss him off a little bit and he picks up a he's starting to pick up a barrel he's like, like donkey kong right i think he's donkey kong that's a hit Let me take a second shot. He's not even flinching. I mean, you can see that you're tearing flesh and stuff, but he's like, doesn't experience pain. All right, now I'm going to say it's your turn, Corral. All Next. right. My bonus action was the uh, hunter's mark. Continue the volley. Uh, hey Drake, when does uh, my random teleport go off? Uh, right now. Awesome. On your turn. Oh, okay, on my turn. How did I have disadvantage on that? Can anybody figure that out? I thought you had advantage. Was it this? Oh, disadvantage dropped to 20. I should have had advantage because he hadn't gone yet. Uh. You're still poisoned. Is that it? That's probably it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I shouldn't be. Uh, if it was for an hour, you would be. It was for diving in the water. How long was that water poison? I think it was either an hour or a minute. <laughs> Slight difference between the two. What did you roll to hit? I would have had a crit if I had yeah, my advantage that I should have had. Ooh. I think it was an. No, I think it was it a minute. The second. It dropped the second. Yeah, the second. Yeah, but I would have had advantage, but it was a twenty. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the second would have been a crit. Roll a d. Well, the chart is not a d6 chart. All right, so we'll just say it was a regular crit. Okay. So hold shift on damage. Plus your sneak attack because you got advantage on him. Which you need to drop on yourself, I guess, right? What are you doing? Can't hear you, John. Sure. Can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the crit on my second attack because I hit control instead of shift on my first one. Is that all right? I do hit. Oh, for the damage? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Well, you get sneak attack too, don't you? Yeah, on this one. It yeah. didn't go, it didn't apply yeah. on the first one because I had. Okay, I got you. Well, did you hit with the second one? Yeah, okay, cool. Go ahead. Damn. So when he he like has this barrel kinda and when he falls it goes psh, it smashes on the ground and all these hands come crawling out and uh, and start crawling towards you guys. Now are we still ten foot up on this walkway? Yeah. And we're walking. And we're and walking. We're walking. Skazer is running. <laughs> Krell is shooting. None of them have gone yet, right? No. <laughs> oh, he missed that.
instant death. <laughs> no. It's gonna be a long sound effects session here. <laughs> it's the one who died. Uh, oh, so one of the claws get to go. It's, it's the dead one. No, no. It's the dead one. So he he like he like he like, and he goes. He's pinned to the floor. <laughs> Scuzzer. Back to me already? A hundred biddies. Thank you, Gorgio. Yeah. What happened? To, what, think, yeah, what happened to everybody think. else? Oh, Krell wait. Was, did I... Krell's turn. Krell, oh, I must be. have did something. So it's this guy's turn. Yeah, it was Krell's turn, so... Uh, so this one's going to... Let's see. He's going to move here. So he, yeah, he climbs up to here. Five, 10, 15, 20 to get up there, right? 10 feet to get over there and he's got a climb speed of, and so he just climbs up. And he tries to get Krell, who's shooting at his buddies. He's like, eh, jumps up. Oh, <laughs> grabs him by the throat. <laughs> it starts strangling you. You're like, ah, 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 and uh, he does uh, seven points of damage, and uh, and you suffer one level of exhaustion. <laughs> Let me give you the uh, exhaustion. That crit sound makes it sound like all the other hands like cheered for him. Yeah, like, they're yeah. like, yay! I got it. I got exhaustion. Uh, oh, did, oh, shit. I already dropped it. Oh, never mind. And, uh... It's spoken poetry. And that's his turn. Squall! Um... Drake, Drake, Drake. Well... I'm just gonna... Whack the claw... With the staff of withering. The claw that's, that's attached to his neck. Yep, yep. <laughs> boom, just, just, boom, just whack it like that. I'm He's not like, gonna use a charge on it or anything. Just like wax it off of him. Just don't miss and hit me. You didn't have him targeted or something. Yeah. And we're walking, and we're walking. <laughs> He's like, oh, 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 I feel a little exhausted after that. That's funny. The clock had a crit. <laughs> Probably that's what he needed to hit you, too. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, yeah. So, he, I'm going to put you in this square here. So yeah, he scramples up the wall, taking the dash action to get up there. He so he flee he runs to his death. I think is what he did. And uh, I kind so of imagine like these things are like floating, right? Like, or did you guys imagine it just ten feet up? Like he could climb up this little wall here. I guess they they like crawling and then jumping like a spider. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I meant they got to get to the outside walls to climb up because this is you can go underneath of the Correct. hallway. Is my vision? Well, they could crawl up and then underneath and then around. Yeah. No, that's a lot further. So this one's going to come this way and get up over here. And this one. 10, 15, 25, so he could get to there. It, w it worked out better that the golem got to throw the barrel up there with all the claws in it, but it didn't work out that way. Ember! There's one, like, right, right next to you. It's like, eee! 
He's gonna stab it with his trident. <laughs> He's like, eh! kills it. Just well, just the don't. Well, let's not kill him. Just, uh... No. It's an instant then, death. It wasn't an instant death. Nice, good job. Gonna slide over a little bit. You only have two hit points. I should have turned on the uh, the random. I I don't know why I don't have random hit points. I just have standard. <laughs> it would have been a more interesting. Some of them might have four. Uh, number five. Where is he at? Oh, why does it say it's Squall's turn? Are you on one? Oh, that's why. Yeah. Uh, I haven't gotten on one for a while. He wasn't up there. I just must have... Because that's where they started him. The module got started because the, the golem was supposed to throw him up. The golem didn't uh, assume you have a Krell in the party. so Or the, the module didn't. Uh, so I'm going to say he, he actually has to climb to get up that to there. Nystagmus. Scuzz or Scothin him up first. Yep. All right. Uh... I'm going to move um, over to there. You're like, just step over him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, step around these guys. Uh, and then, They're tiny um, creatures. You could just step over them. You don't even have to go around them. You, I'm can, move, gonna you can move through their space since they're tiny. Step uh, on his fingers. I want to drop a shatter right there and hit those two. Um, but not hit the glass walkway that we're standing on, because that seems like a bad <laughs> idea. Uh, but because that's a uh, spell that does thunder damage, I can do my uh, lightning damage to the, these claws close by. Uh, it's too late. No, no, we're sealed in here. It's fine. Oh, um... Actually, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, so I'll mention it now. Um, there was supposed to be a random teleport for me at the start of this turn. Oh, yeah. So you're like, I'm going to step over here, and, and Gorgio passes you a random teleport. Uh, well, uh, Jesus, and it's anywhere on the map, huh? Let me double check that. Wow. Uh, fucked. On the current battle map. Ooh. This wow. This could be good. It's depending on what your definition of battle map is. My definition of battle map is... Uh, There's the an ash rape side of this map, too. The know? immediate battle map, because... Believe it or not, uh, I think you're probably right. Let's see. Where's my die at? Let's see. We're going to do... Where are you at? And... Huh. All right. So you teleport to there. <laughs> All right, that works out. Because <laughs> you can't, you can't, uh, yep, that's where you're at. <laughs> it's kind of lame. That's okay. All right, so I've got some lightning damage for these guys that are close to me. Oh, oh. crash and sirenscape as you killed them all. Sorry about that. Uh, and then I've got some shatter damage for these two down there. All right, they died. Did you crash it again? Probably. No. Different me, I really. What's this guy's strength? Let's see. And Gorgio is nope. sad. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you just trying to kill us. You gotta kind of wait till uh, wait till the right time to use that teleport. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So he comes running up to Ember. It's my problem. It's my fault. And uh, he had to dash to get there. So. And you know what? It's kind of a waste of time, isn't it? Because they can't get to you, and you're just going to squish them. Level up. I was going to stomp on them. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You're just going to kill them. You're just going to kill them. So they, so you can hear them. They all, they all just do the. Uh, you can hear, you can hear their heartbeat stop and. And they, and they just kind of roll over, and, and, and you can hear them, and then they, uh, uh, and they all, ah, uh, they all die. Did I just hear game over? And they all go. We win. You win. Should have taught them to hand jive. All right, so does anyone go down in there, or? And we're walking. We're walking. <laughs> Can we see anything of interest from up here? You like see all these dead hands. Just going down there. You see like stuff sticking up out of these uh, little niches on the on the wall. Like you see a saw out of that one. You see some hammers over here. Uh, there's like equipment sticking out. Tools. Tools. Well, yeah. Uh, tools. Tools is a different thing. They're like little pods or something hanging on the wall. Is there a little dremel looking thing in here? Someone else wish to do anything? As and I'm we're walking. Waiting just next to the door. I get the feeling that Squall would like to leave. Walking. <laughs> For once I agree with the pirate. This ain't my kind of ship. <laughs> Is it a ship? I thought we were in a are, dungeon. Are you? Oh, I can unlock the token. Sorry. Wait a minute. All the walls are steel now. Mm-hmm. And glass and okay. So how'd they get that big old Harley Davidson motorcycle up there on that high dive, boy? I don't know. What what are you guys doing? Did I miss oh, something? The door. Oh, did you Walk say that? In. I didn't hear you say that. Uh, all right. So let me uh, open up this section. Oops, not that button. This button. Drawing, drawing, drawing. So there's a another hallway and a door at the end of it. No room this time, eh? Okay. It's like repeating itself. Like a big circle. It's like a big circle. And this dungeon's kind of a jerk. So it's like a big circle jerk. Yeah, we just left all the hand jobs behind us. Bravo. <laughs> so, Krell, when you get like to like right here, uh, you notice a uh, <clears throat> what looks like a the piece of the metal is a different color on the wall. A little square, like I twelve by twelve. Out. You pointed out. Are the other people? Uh, they have a little trouble seeing it, but they believe you. So I will touch it. Uh, you touch it? It feels cold like At metal. We... <clears throat> At least we didn't get struck by lightning or something going through there. Does it move? I mean, am I able to remove it with my sucker hands? <laughs> sucker hands. 
uh, you're like, you're moving and it, and it like, it pops open, like, like a touch latch and it kind of slides to the side. And there's another, uh, another, uh, pad with the tentacle feely things on it. All right. And what does it say? It says door. Touch with your face. The same as the other one say. The other one says. But there's no door. There is no door. All right, so I'm going to do it. Do what I've been doing to activate it. All right, so Ember disappears. Quick, where's the rat? <laughs> Through a secret door that opens right here. <laughs> And inside of this room, you see bulbous glass pods in this cramped chamber contain dozens of strange items. You like see a, like in the one of the, the thing you see, what looks like a doll? Flux capacitor. It's like smooshed no up against holes. the glass. A bulbous. It's the word of the day. Bulbous. Looks like a doll, really. Looks like a doll, yeah. From from out in the hallway, you're like, is that a doll? And we're like, it looks like a doll. I'm not getting closer to it. It's got to be one of the mind fucks. Is there anything else in this room? Just the three pods full of cramp, dozens of strange items. You see a couple more of those dolls, different kind of looking dolls, but they look like they're made out of the same materials. Uh, they that look like clockwork or or fabric. Uh, they're like the pods are kind of like open on the top and glass on the bottom, so you could reach in and pull one out and look and examine it if you like. Without actually going into the room, I would like to cast detect magic. Uh, everything detects magic and you get a headache. Not, Except for all the looking. stuff in the in the pods. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I immediately turn it off, but then tell tell Amber that apparently nothing in there is magic. I'm going to use the trident, sort of scoop one out and just dump it on the floor to take. You a see, look one at of it. the dolls reaches up and goes, "The claw, the claw." No. You, you, scoop, you, you, you scoop out one of these dolls, and the doll looks like it's stitched from leathery seaweed. And it looks like it might have tentacles on its face. Okay. Uh, you also see, like, like uh, some other tentacle-shaped stuff. You see some whalebone dice. It's just a bunch of crap. Just maybe their nursery. I'm going to stab the doll good measure and leave. <laughs> With his trident. Sticks to his trident. It's like, can't get it off. He's like, it's through. He's like, ah, he's got to put his foot on it. And the dog goes, Mama. In Quaileth. I don't know how it says that in Quaileth, but he goes, Mama. <laughs> With his tentacles. So I'll go open the door. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, the entire layer is well lit by glowing crystals built into the walls. Oh, nice. Uh, each perimeter dome is 20 feet tall. The central areas are 10 feet tall. And uh, the surfaces are burnished meteoric iron that have an iridescent and cold to the touch. So, met metal. Metal. And, uh, ah, you're going to open this door. Well, let me read the, the room first. Um, this button. Drawing, 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 drawing. The, the negatives of classic is I have to uncover shit. <coughs> Although I would have a lot of this masked, probably. And... Well, no, they would all be doors. Did you draw all these doors in? 
Good Every lord. door, even all of the secret doors. Uh, he, he, doors. he drew it all, but he probably wasn't looking in the room, so he doesn't know what's in there, but he's like, that's another door. That's another door. I have no door. clue what's in the descriptions. <laughs> I, I didn't, oh. I have no clue what the uh, rooms are, but I just drew the outline. I'm, I'm using custom Dungeon of the Mad Mage maps, and I'm drawing all the occluders in those, and they're a bitch. Yeah, Mad Carrie had to help me try to figure out how to get him into a a mod that I'd done over in Classic. And so, uh, Glyphs and Sigils arranged in patterns of unnatural geometry dot the metal surfaces of this chamber. Squalls walking, walking. Walking, walking. Mad Curie, did you see what Engorgio said? I did not. He said he's going to run this sell it to him for yeah. protection from Clyde. Yeah, I'd, I'd dangle some kind of something over him for that. All right, so what do we see in this room? Uh, glyphs and so, signals arranged. Yeah. And a door on the other way, on the other side. Uh, who was it that studied the other room with constellations? Was it Krell? You mean the, the one that gave him, made him. Uh, that was me. See, see hallucin uh, hallucin Are these constellations? Alas, I forget who the sailors are. No, these the are these are glyphs. These the are, pirate. these are glyphs, not. Uh, constellations and not. Uh, they were. Uh, not Star David, but the. Uh, Dealy dudes. Do the thing with your face. No, try to open the door. Ah. Appears to be a hallway with another door. I'm going to stop about halfway, touch the wall, look around, see if there's another secret door. Hello, McFly. Hello. Well, with your uh, with your passive perception, you don't detect anything. Do you want to roll a perception check? So you could take time to yes, I will, sniff I will around. Look real quick. Okay. Krell peeks over your corner and shakes his head. And uh, And you agree. You don't see anything here. So, uh, you know, keep in mind that this lasts for one hour. So, oh, where the hell is it? I didn't put, apply. oh, that's right. It wasn't, there wasn't an action for it. So I'm going to open this door and then apply it to myself while I'm looking. But at the same time, Comprehend languages is an hour, and the other one's an hour. I I applied it. I wonder why I didn't apply. I just didn't do the concentration. Foul-smelling fluids spatter the sloping floor of this dome. Chunks of fleshy substance gather around the depressed drain in its center. Along the edge of the dome are doors of frosted glass. I wonder if this... Is this like a, where they were sleeping or something while they were flying through space? Kind of like sleeping pods or something? Do those doors have panels, the way the, all of these other doors have? Yeah. Ember, you want to go try reading it? Don't don't open it. Just read it. See if it gives you any information. I'm like you. I think there may be something behind these. Who goes into well, the glass, room? Glass doors, right? They're frosted. They you can't see frosted. in them. Yeah. Oh, they're frosted. 
frosted glass. Okay. Is there any writing around? I'm not going to actually approach them yet, but I just want to. There's one right here. See, do I see any writing on or yeah, there's or any panels? Like, like right. Oops. Like right here, there's a panel. 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 And right here, there's a panel. And right. Shatter oh, should work. And right there is a panel. So there is a the panel next to button. every door. I do not like the looks of this detritus on the floor. I don't know that we need to open this, do we? Considering the last. And the and the and the panel. The, these are down on the ground. You guys are up high. And we're walking. Is that what you're saying? That's what Scuzzer's doing. Corel, did you really want to open these? No, I'm I'm not particularly tied to opening it. Looks like we can. I'm just wondering if 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 these are like storage pods, like uh, Caesar said or Scuzzer said. Um, usually, there's some way to look inside of them. Yeah, they they do look them. about like they're you know eight feet tall or so. I don't know that chunks of fleshy substance, though. <laughs> you can sit on the back of the broom. I'm not going down there, and I'll just <laughs> hold out the broom to him. You could borrow it. Is it is it attunement? I think so. It does not no. require attunement. No. Oh, that's right, it doesn't. That's pretty crappy. Just any old witch can fly around on a freaking broom, huh? Yep. <laughs> I mean, would it hurt to open just one? <laughs> it might. So I'm going to dangle from the edge and then drop the couple feet down and go open this one. Uh, see, what it, shit. see what the panel says before you open it. The panel says... Do not open. <laughs> Till Christmas. Uh, the panel says... Reveal or open. So I'll click reveal. Uh, it's empty. I mean, you're already down there. You might as well check them. I'll check the next yeah, one. Reveal hit, them all. Hit reveal. It's empty. Well, there ain't nothing in here. Next. a long pause. I don't like the tokens are suddenly locked. <laughs> and a long pause. <laughs> yeah, DM tools when you add the That was my idea. The combat it was my it. idea. <laughs> ah, cool. So let, let me see here. Because we have uh, initiative. Do we all have disadvantage from the chat at this point? I know I've got a pending disadvantage. Ember has one. Krell has one. I so just got used for initiative. Thanks, guys. Corral just used it on initiative. That's a good idea. Ah, oh, shoot. Actually, that, that was exhaustion <laughs> one that did that, so. Oh. Uh, Is that gone or still there from the hand? No, you have exhaustion until you take a long rest. <laughs> Isn't there a lesser actually, or something? Actually, that that yeah, work? actually from, uh, from the crit chart, I'm I'm allowing it to be uh, removed from a sh from any rest. Um, rest all right, so when you uh, when you release the glass on this one, you can see it is some kind of shahagan uh, with 
like tentacles and suction cups, like uh, some kind of hybrid illithid shahagan, and uh, and it opens its eyes when you uh, when you reveal it. It's like it looks Wait at you. Remember? And it starts wiggling, and you see the the glass starting to vibrate a little bit. But uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like you can get out. Turn the frosting back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just turn it off. All right. So uh, if we're not going initiative order, then yes, I I will once. I'll turn around and make sure everybody sees, paying attention, Stick and then I'll... Stick your butt cheeks up to the window first. <laughs> then I'll turn it off. You just frost it over again? Right, click the same button where it says reveal. Click it again. Yeah, yeah it, it fogs over and the vibration slowly stops. Like the flopping around of Shahagan Ithlid hybrid inside... Uh, oh. And then in your head, you hear, Let it be urge. In what languages do you speak? Or are you at? Like, no, I speak uh, all the languages. I have comprehend languages. Oh, yeah, so, I yeah. So you, it, so, you under, it. so you understand it. Let me urge. And as I move away, I will say out loud, It wants me to let it out. And we're walking. And the rest of Almost them. Squall. Uh, let's see. One of them. Uh, everybody. Here, I'll, I'll push it to you. I'm gonna use my second wind while we're. And uh, who who of you guys got disadvantage? Uh, go ahead and, and apply disadvantage to yourself. Uh, let's see. All right, everyone failed. All right, let's see. Krell with a five, Scuzzer with a 17, Ember with a 10, Nystagmus with a 17, and Squall with an 11. All fail, uh, and Krell as he uncovers one of the doors and you guys are all looking at it you see this horrific corpse inside it's just a, a mutilated corpse it bears res little resemblance to anything save a butcher's cut off pile uh and each character that sees it you know because of this mind affecting thing that's going on Krell, you experience uncontrollable tremors or ticks, which impose disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throw that involve strength or dexterity. For so, nine minutes. It's time for a long rest or a short rest. <laughs> right. Uh, Scuzzer Oops uh, You become incapacitated And spends the duration Screaming, laughing, or weeping You can choose Weeping <laughs> <laughs> For eight minutes Somebody shut him the fuck up. Uh, yeah, let's phone. see. That was Scuzzer Ember. Uh, you suffer extreme paranoia, and you have disadvantage on wisdom and charisma checks. See, Ember, you heard for his feelings. He's crying. Four minutes. 
and let's see, that was Ember Nystagmus. You must use your action each round to attack the nearest creature. For well. <laughs> five minutes. Okay. And Squall Wait, there's, there's, uh, I'm dropping these so you guys can, uh, and Squall, you experience vivid hallucinations and again, <laughs> have disadvantage on ability checks. And who's left? For how long, Drake? Oh, yeah, for six minutes. And I think that's all of us. Yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, so uh, I guess we're doing the... Uh, so I turn and start punching Krell. I'm going to start crying about, we should have kept walking. As a... Uh... Oh my god, it's a Mind Flayer. <laughs> Squall, <laughs> you get to go first. We only have... Uh, uh, what's... How many rounds is five minutes? No, I get six minutes, which would be... Well, the rest of you don't have to worry. It's it's the stack of us that you have to worry about right now. Yeah, he's beating on Krell. As he, as he turns, it starts to get aggravated at Krell. But Squall, you get to react first. You could literally sit and hit me for five minutes straight and not do enough damage to barely hurt me. 50 well, rounds at one hit point each round. Oh, oh he, he can I'm attack you with whatever he wants. I'm going to, you know, play with these butterflies that are flying around me. <laughs> Krell, you see the Stockamus's evil intent in his eyes. All right. Um, this is going to... Can't hear you. I'm going to attempt to grapple him. But With I your... have disadvantage on everything. <laughs> He's probably not that hard to grab, though. So he that's, might be uh... a little slimy. Oh, you just got that's... advantage. You just <laughs> got advantage from the chat, though. I use okay, chat. I, I can't. You have I extra attack, do don't you? Yeah. You can use it Early, again, yeah. right? I you still, still, you still miss. Because I got disadvantage from exhaustion. That's right. Is that a double disadvantage? Scuzzer. Uh, yeah, all Scuzzer can do is cry <laughs> and weep. <laughs> Ember, what, what, what's, what, do you, what can you do? What, what's the matter with you? So I'm paranoid. I'm going to <laughs> move 10 feet up and throw the rope. Here, tie him up with this. Obviously, He's scared of his own shadow. Controlled by these creatures. Tie him up. You're pretty sure you think uh, Nystagmus is going to steal your rope. You're paranoid about it. As you throw it up there, you're like, oh, God, I think he's going to steal my rope. You, like, throw the whole coil up there, like, Chuck, or just, yes. like, half right, the end of it, the whole, the whole roll? Tied up, yeah. Okay. 
Nystagmus. But it's my rope. I want it back when you're finished. Uh, all right. So uh, Nystagmus, uh, yeah, uh, he's just going to try to punch Krell in the head. And uh, he's like, stupid fucking bird. <laughs> Wait one second. <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to the standard critical hit damage to your target, you may take one extra bonus action or one extra move action this turn. It so, says may, right? Do I have to? <laughs> it says may. It does say may. Uh, so roll damage. <laughs> it's it, it's a, it was a punch. An unarmed attack, so... It still just does so one damage. He punches Crow right in a beak. Beak! <laughs> it's like a little, a little, uh, a little, uh, a little tiny blood speckle comes out of his beak a little bit. He's like, yeah, but the oh. blood's from Nystagmus' hand. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Fifty more rounds. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to come up with something. Uh, top of the round is Scuzzer crying. Krell. Uh, I'm going to keep on doing this. You trying to grab him? Went mute again. I want to grapple him and... Uh... You get a button going bad or something? I must. Let me switch to... Just switch to not push to talk. You have a flip up mic, don't you? All right. Yeah, I got it. Um, is this better? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I am going to actually. Yeah, I'm just going to attempt to grapple him. Um, so I had somebody in chat gave me advantage. It looks like uh, you didn't use it. I don't know. I had disadvantage okay. last time. So this should cancel out and I have just a regular roll. <laughs> and you rolled a three. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Try it again with my extra attack. <laughs> He's a slippery little freaking tight uh, Triton. Yeah. Nystagmus got advantage now. And I'm giving Nystagmus all these opportunities to kick Krell's ass, and he's not doing it. I don't know why. He's just punching him. I, don't I would be like, fireball. <laughs> Ember. So I'm going to move back and uh, tie him up with my rope. But it's my rope. Give it back when you're done. Yeah, I want it back. You better give it back. Let me take this stupid... You're not opening the door with the Shahagan Ithlet thing, right? Even if it asks you politely. Pretty please? I'll give you a cookie. No, not yet. All right, so I'm taking him out of the combat tracker. Does Squall! I'm paranoid, no. Well, let's see. I happen to found a D&D uh, &D behind the screens thing on Reddit. And right now, Squall... Is looking around the room, batting his eyes and stuff, like this, because he's shooting magic beams out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew pew, pew pew pew. The Stagmus, uh, you Thank have uh, you have advantage by Engorgio in the chat, uh, and he's gonna uh, pull out his dagger. Uh, and he's like, you gotta pluck the the bird before you can cook it, and he tries to stab him. There you go, there you go. Ah, uh, You missed. Do you have two daggers? I, I do. Well, why don't you use the other one as a bonus action? Uh, no, that's okay. I'm you can't you can't draw both of them, but you could next round, Krell. All right, um, I'm gonna push him. Push gonna... him over the ledge. 
Well, first you got a grappling. The shove action. Yeah, the shove action. Yeah, you get. I think you got to succeed on a grapple check first. Same thing. I don't think so. Yeah. I think, I think they're different, aren't they? No. Still the same role. Anyway, e either way. Is that a, I don't know. Is that a hit? I don't know. It's contested against uh, the target. So he, Just... he would make a athletics or or acrobatics, I think it is. There you go. Uh, five feet, I think, right? Give me a uh, ac acrobatics check. Nystagmus. All right, so yeah, you, you like get to the edge, but you're like, whoa, whoa. So you push him right up to the edge, but he doesn't, uh, he doesn't go off yet. He's like teetering on the edge. And one more shove, though, and down he goes. All right. uh, can you do two of those? I don't think so. I don't think you can shove twice either. Yeah, it's an action. Ember! Let me move down here. Don't push him down here. He's going to fall yeah, in all that ichor. Yeah, Are you, you afraid you... he'll attack you? Ember, when you look back, exactly. you can see that you're leaving all these little slimy little footprints in this muck that's on the ground. And you you think it might be ruining your nice shoes. You're a little paranoid about it. It's because you're crying. And the Stagamus. All right, I'm just holding myself. The Stagmus takes his dagger, uh, and he kind of looks at it, and it missed, so he just, like, chucks it over his shoulder. Uh, and I assume that it, like, kind of lands near Ember, and Ember thinks that somebody's throwing daggers at him. Probably. Uh, and so then um, he's got his uh, his staff in his other hand, so he tries to whack Krell with the uh, the staff of the Magi. Nice. I'm trying to get the rope out from underneath you. Don't make me kill you. Now he's getting he's getting used to this. He's liking it. He starts to smile. He's like <laughs> And Squall shoots some laser beams out. What are you doing this round? No. You see a bug. D one twelve. Yep, lit I see a planet above me, lit by no sun, all wide turbulent oceans and deep black forests and jagged piercing mountains. A low hum sounds in my ears. The planet takes up more of the sky. I can't look away from it. It fills my blah, 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 blah. Ember, this dagger comes like sliding over within 10, 15 feet of you. You're like. I think it's a nice dagger. It might. You think it might be yours. You're a little paranoid somebody took your dagger. All right, so I think it's my dagger instead of him. <laughs> You're not sure. You're not okay. sure. Then, you, uh, think, you think he dropped it? I don't know. I don't so want to roleplay your character. You, you be your own paranoia. I'll pick up my dagger, and I'm going to drink my potion of climbing and start climbing up the wall here to get as far away in case he gets pushed off now re remember this is like me. a this is like a dome don't touch me so don't touch me i don't think you can climb completely upside down but you can get pretty high up in here i'm just gonna go like 10 feet and then stop because otherwise i'm getting closer to him so all right as long as and you can't uh touch me with that staff and uh so and this goes just, and this goes on for uh, yeah this goes on for Another, another few minutes, and uh, and finally you guys start to snap out of it. <laughs> and we're not gonna role play this out for five minutes of combat. That's ridiculous. But uh, eventually, you know, Krell tackles the Stagamus, and they tie him up, and and then uh, uh, Ember's a little paranoid that he's next. 
you know, so, you know, it goes on and on and on for a while. But uh, eventually you guys uh, succeed in, uh, in getting over the challenge. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to take you guys out of uh, initiative order and unlock your tokens for you. Oh, not delete tokens, unlock tokens. How many flowers did you pick, Squaw? Uh, oh, it replaces one flowers. of them. Uh, so you can do multiple shoves. So yeah, it's an, it's still an athletics check contested by a strength check. Yeah. Yep. He's like putting his rain gear on right now. Uh, so we did it. We did it right. You you wanted to Quite shove him right away, on. not knock him prone too. So we did it. We did yeah. it right. Yeah. I'm they really simplified it. In 3.5, uh, they're like, I want to grapple. You're like, okay, let me go get the grappler's freaking handbook and break out this table and this chart. Let me see what you can do. It was like this whole thing. You guys going to keep Amber's going? Gonna his, Amber's going to get his rope back, use his welding fork to brand his initials in it. <laughs> and then welding. put it back. A welding fork? What do you got? One of those little, you know, the wooden burning little iron things. You remember the things where you carve with the heat, like wood burners. Yeah, I had one of those. And we're walking, and we're walking. And then I'll open up the next. Hey, if this wasn't strange, what would it be? It wouldn't be Call of the Deep. Oops. I'm undrawing, I'm undrawing, I'm undrawing. <laughs> a hallway. Another thought? hallway. What do you know? I'm going to check for a secret door in the halfway mark. Uh, you don't find one. I'll open the next door. Undrawing, 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 and reading. Warm, humid air clings to your skin as you enter a dome chamber devoid of life. Pipes running up the walls sporadically puff clouds of acrid smelling vapor into the air. Uh, oh, I, d I didn't under. Hold on, let me uncover the, the room, dear. I just did the hallway. Uh. So, the doors on the other side open, this door. Actually, uh, I'm sorry. A door here opens. And uh, and you guys see a mind flare and a uh, Hold on, let me uh, get you an image. Housekeeping. We never took that keeping... short rest. We didn't. A, uh, a, a, it looks like a, a humanoid creature. It's two legs. It looks like a giant lobster that walks upright. His face is mostly encased in armor. Uh, looking almost a humanoid except for its long eye stalks. So it's got like eye stalks sticking up out of his head. Uh... And uh, and that's where we're going to stop for the night, since it's almost 11 o'clock. You can thank Squall. He's the one who said kept walking. Hmm? Thank you me or blame me. What are you blaming me for? Not taking a rest. And we're walking, and we're walking, and... Now we have a mind flare we, to fight. Are we still hallucinating? My next one was that no, you guys, everybody around you guys, me becomes, becomes little children, and I smack them for back talking. 
He's got a he's got a he's got a ruler and he's smacking him in the hand. If you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. Huh. What do you, oh, you're rolling for your. Uh, I I won't really miss those so much. I don't think. <laughs> As the DM. It was Zoidberg. It looks just like Zoidberg. I wish I had a picture of it. It's an it's called an Aldani. They're in uh, Cholt. There's no image of them. Google. Uh, actually, uh, I could load the module and the Cholt module probably, but that's not worth it. So that's it, uh, chat. We're uh, we're gonna call it right here. Uh, let's see. Is there somebody we can raid? Let's go raid Rob real quick. Yeah, so, there's the uh, one. I got him let on me, the laptop. Let me, uh, let me get the uh, little uh, shutdown going, and then I'll get the raid going real quick. Uh, let's go raid him. Raid. No. Slash raid. Rob 2E. There we go. Ten seconds. We're going to raid with two three four five seven seven viewers eight viewers see you guys everybody wait by all right bye. stick around bye. go say hi to rob appreciate your hard work drake yeah thanks jake yeah man thank you sir yeah, I gotta get up at five.